We use products made from fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas every day without even noticing. Crayons. Soaps. Synthetic rubber. And in cooking our food. We even wear these products. But how are they made? And what happens one day when these non-renewable sources have been depleted? Basketball shorts are commonly made from a polymer called nylon. A polymer is a large chemical compound that is made up of smaller units known as monomers. For nylon, the monomers are hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid. But how are these monomers made? To make adipic acid, crude oil must be extracted from the ground. It is then transported by boat or rail to refineries where it is broken down into several molecules by a heating process called thermocracking. Benzene is one of these small molecules. It is transported to other refineries to be further processed into different chemicals. This process is repeated with the other chemicals until adipic acid is finally produced. That's a lot of energy and money tied up in transportation of the material. What if there was another way? What if we could use biomass sources right outside our own window? Biomass like curry grass, corn stalks, and wood pulp from trees. The Center for Biorenewable Chemicals, or CBERC, employs scientists and engineers to develop processes to make the basketball shorts. Makeup fuels, and other goods of tomorrow, from sustainable, locally grown biomass sources. Let's look at making nylon basketball shorts again, but this time with techniques developed at Seabird. First, the biomass is harvested, and a sugar called glucose is extracted. Then, the glucose is used to grow yeast cultures that have been biologically engineered to produce a mixture called a broth. This broth contains a compound called meconic acid. The meconic acid solution is then mixed with a catalyst, which is a chemical that speeds up a reaction, but is not itself consumed. The mixture is heated in the presence of hydrogen gas, and muconic acid is converted to adipic acid. The remaining liquid is evaporated in the drying oven, and solid adipic acid is obtained. The adipic acid is then mixed with hexamethylene diamine, the other monomer, and heated in a furnace. The resulting polymer is nylon. This is just one example of how Seabirk is using the innovative thinkers of today to make the products of tomorrow.